and today we're going to be checking out this 2000 watt immersion water heater that's right this is an immersion heater that you can use for larger tubs five gallon buckets foot spas small kids swimming pools the bathtub in the house just any large bulk of water that you need to get warm basically it's like one of those immersion heaters you'd use for on coffee but super size so let's open it up take a look at it and see what all we get first thing you're going to see is a nice little cleaning sponge and some sandpaper that's so if you start to develop scale on it you can actually scrub it down and clean it you're also going to get a digital thermometer so you know exactly how hot your water is and you have the heater itself so it does come with instructions please make sure you follow the instructions it's very important that you follow rules like that this must be fully submerged before you plug it in and do not put hands feet or bodies in the water with this this is to be put in the water you plug it in once it's warm you unplug it you pull it out after 20 seconds to let it cool a little bit and then you can use your hot water now you can see it's got this nice stainless steel tube on the outside to protect the coil from direct contact so if it touches the side of a bucket or a pool or something it's not going to melt it the actual heater is inside this tube you also have a red indicator light right here so you know whenever it is powered up it's supposed to heat water up relatively quickly and so we're going to test that here in just a moment but first we're going to take a look at this digital thermometer real fast it is already powered up and turned on and it has a cord on it and the cord for the thermometer about three feet long so not too bad right now it's 86 degrees outside it's quite warm where i live we're going to take the top off this big tub of water we're going to see what our water temperature is it is dropping very fastly okay so it's saying our water temperature is 82 degrees so we're going to put the water heater in and we're going to see how long it takes to get up to 100 degrees let's go for an even 20 degrees increase in temperature so i'm going to take the probe out i'm going to get the immersion heater it does have an improved and heavy gauge cord it does have a ground plug on it make sure that you use a grounded outlet it is 2000 watts so you if you use an extension cord with it make sure it's a heavy duty extension cord you cannot use a light extension cord with this and the breaker must be better than a 15 amp breaker so at least a 20 amp breaker so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in the water and then i'm going to step away and plug it in okay so our led is on it is plugged in i'm not going to touch this water and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just set this little temperature gauge right here off to the side and i'm just going to drop that in there and we're going to see how long it takes i don't know if you guys can see it through the camera but if you see the holes in there you can actually see the heated water exchanging and coming out through those holes and it's only been on for about a minute and we're already at 84 degrees let's see what happens okay so we are now at 101.1 degrees it's been about 15 minutes this is probably i don't know six to eight gallons of water i think it's more than a five gallon bucket so it's got to be at least eight gallons so we went from 82 to 101 in about 15 minutes so it works very well it's still heating in there now before you actually stick your hand in the water and check it out and before you remove the actual element itself you want to unplug it and let it cool off okay so you're going to give it about 20 seconds to cool off before you pull it out now the cord is very slightly warm but that's no different than your hair dryer or anything else and uh, we're just going to kind of swirl this around so it cools a little bit and we're going to go ahead and remove it so just that easy now that there's no power now you can feel your water that feels very warm and you know of course it's verified with the actual thermometer it's actually up to 101.5 now so very handy for filling up those small bathtubs for filling up your your baby bath for filling it or heating up the kids pool out in the front yard on those cooler days and for foot spas and such like that it works well it gets the job done but like i said make sure you follow all the safety instructions when you get this i hope this video helps and thanks for watching